everybody how's everybody doing hope you're having a fantabulous night get you something good to eat something good to drink pull up to the pull your chair to the table and eat with us Paul will pray and we'll dig in our God in heaven we thank you so much for this food we're about to receive thank you for the ability to have it and I ask you Lord to give us strength and nourishment help us to be a light to this world and everything we give you praise glory and honor in Jesus name Amen. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Push the notification bell. Paul prepared the whole meal. And I got, finally got my test back. I do have mono, but I don't have COVID. Thank God. And I'll be contagious like four weeks. And then after that, they don't know if I'll be contagious or not. But at least we know what the problem is. We're having breakfast for supper tonight. And they do not treat you for mono. You just have to <clears throat> ride the storm out. We uh, bought chicken biscuits the other day at the store. We had a special going on with buy five for 20 at the store we was at. So we got the chicken biscuits and some other items. So we got the chicken biscuits. I fixed the bacon and I baked the bacon every bit of it. I fried the eggs and I took a half of, uh, I took a, we had a block of cheese the, like she had the other night when she was fixing the macaroni and I cut pieces off the cheese to put on the, for us to have and look at that bacon, ain't that pretty? <laughs> now her bacon is just a little bit darker. I fixed her bacon in a different pan and at a di different length of time it uh you want to show him a piece he says it's burnt no it ain't it's, it may not be completely burnt but it's a, a little bit darker than mine she yeah, likes it like that you but. better get your pork down because you will get worms if you don't but anyways now her on her That's eggs good. i'm she, hungry meat. she likes hers over easy get the white done and the yellow still running so that's the way I fixed them for. What? And when I fixed mine, I cracked the egg, popped the yellow, added some garlic salt and white pepper to one egg, garlic salt and black pepper to the other egg. That's why I have one egg on each biscuit. I woke up today with an appetite. <clears throat> and I'm glad she had the appetite. Because she's not been herself the past few days, and I don't like that. It ain't felt like myself either. We started to make a video similar to this earlier in the week, but we're just going to do the bacon, egg, and cheese on toast, or have some homemade bread. Yeah. But she didn't feel like it that day, so. I don't watch TV, except for certain times of the year. We've been watching... Uh, they say they're scary movies, but we've been watching Medea. I don't think it's scary. It's more funny than scary. Love Medea. That's my girl. <clears throat> and one thing about Medea, there's a lot of the things that she talks about how to treat the kids and how to discipline the kids in the movie we watched. Jesus, oh my. That reminds me a whole lot of my parents when I was growing up. <laughs> And I think Tammy said it reminded her of her parents, too. No, it reminds me of me. Oh, well, her. And a lot of her sister, too. And my cousin, Kathy. Yeah. I want to give a shout-out <coughs> to one of my good friends, Charlie. He's the friend that I had to take to the hospital the other day for having the surgery. He came through his surgery fine, and the doctor told him that the wires, I'm going to call it that, that were in his neck, basically the nerves and all that that were together, they were a big jumbled mess. They had to go in there and actually pull out a piece of cartilage to fix it and get everything straightened up. 
but the way his um, hands and arms were before, he could only put his hands in certain positions to keep them from hurting or falling asleep, actually. And within three hours after get, getting out of the surgery and uh, coming out of the anesthesia, he told me that he was able to raise his hands, move his fingers, he didn't have any hand tingling, didn't have any pain or anything in his arms, and he was so thankful. God is good. And yesterday, I went over there to pick him up and bring him home. And when we got home and everything, our dryer had went out about three days ago. He just so happened to have a dryer on his back porch that worked that he didn't need. One asked me if I knew anybody wanted it. I said, I'll take it. So yesterday I took it, brought it over here, hooked it up and used it. Thank God. Because you never realize how big of a, a help having a dryer is until you don't have a way to dry your clothes. We don't have a clothes line. And if we did, we probably wouldn't be able to use it safely with the kids that are around here. <laughs> Now, I took the eggs and cut them in half and put half on the bottom piece of bread, put the cheese in it, then put the other half on the top piece of that cheese. So everything would all melt together really good. That's the way I did hers as well. Granted, these are not homemade bread biscuits. I don't like them. I'm feeding two dogs. Yeah. We've had worse. I've actually had worse from a restaurant that had the biscuits that were sent in frozen in the case. So dry, you couldn't eat them. It's not, it's not that I don't like the biscuits. I can't swallow it real good right now. But I do like my own biscuits. Homemade biscuits are a whole lot better for several reasons. <coughs> the biggest reason is you know exactly what's in it. Well, I was thinking about hands. Do what? Hands, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm weird. Knowing who does it yeah. and how they done it, that makes a big difference. I only, eat and start, I only eat certain people's foods. Well. <laughs> we've got a family get together. Uh, the family comes and tells me who fits what. <laughs> <laughs> they figured out over the years. I watch people too. I watch if they're clean or not. We bought a great big pack of bacon. It's been what, box of bacon. Yeah, it's a big box. It was about a month ago. Maybe longer now. A couple of weeks ago. It's been more than two weeks. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Been at least three. Oh, it hadn't been a couple of months ago. Well, okay. It was we, this month. Okay. No, it was last month. It wasn't this month. Or, well, it was this month. Okay. Anyway, we bought a big pack of bacon. In the past. Well, that's when I got it. And when we got it, we didn't want to put all of it in the refrigerator because we was afraid it'd go right. bad. And we had plastic containers that were real big. And I got three of those plastic containers and packed a certain piece, piece amount in each container to try to even it all out to what we knew what we'd have. And today, this bacon was the last of the container that we had. We got more. We can't listen to Drama King. No, we don't have no more. We got more out of that box, don't we? Nope. <coughs> we eat the whole box. Yep. 
Never mind, Dra uh, Drama King was, had a reason to be dramatized. No, I'm traumatized. <laughs> I love my bacon. I love the bacon. I do some searching. Now, when I put them in the containers, I put them in the freezer to keep them fresh and to keep them from spoiling. There is a possibility we may have one more container in the freezer, but I have so much stuff in the freezer right now, I have to take it I off. I have so. not got to clean my freezer, and I could not tell you when. So I'm going to take everything out of the freezer because I have got to clean that thing. <clears throat> he puts boxes of cereal in the in the freezer, no, and it. I, I know you don't. Cause you took them out and slung them out. We don't have. We, we've not had boxes of cereal in a long time. Well, I wonder why. Cause they ain't got them. Cause they ain't going to. Cause I know what you do with them. It's a cap. No. The heck you say. Oh. Pa has been superb. He's helped me out so much. He cooked everything. I probably told you that. I've not felt like moving. That's why it feels like you got the flu. You ache, you have body aches. God. And a lot of her symptoms are just like what COVID is. And thank God she don't have it. Yeah. <clears throat> Prayer for a friend of ours. She's my age, and she's in the ICU with COVID, and they've got her on life support. So I really appreciate you guys if you pray for. Her. And she lives here in Urban too. Well. I'll make quite a bit, I think. Yeah. Hey! Get in here! <coughs> this is all I can eat. Which is the most I make. You're not getting food. I'll stop it. What about the most she's eating three, three maybe four days? Oh. Granny, we got that. Meal from the Japanese restaurant the other day. And overall, I guess that would be more than what she ate here. Well, I ate it on camera, what I could eat, and then yeah. I ate, ate the rest of it later that, <laughs> that night. <coughs> they think they're going to be everywhere I'm at. Especially him. He had loves being on camera. I don't know. I don't believe in ghosts. I really don't. But there has been some weird stuff going on here. And I'm not getting no evil vibes. So I don't know what is going on. <clears throat> Earlier today. The cats will set up like a groundhog and look at something. I don't know. And there won't be nothing that we can see. Earlier. We heard a sound in our hallway, like something that fell. And she wanted me to find out which cat it was. I thought it sounded like a cat, didn't it? And you got something on your face. Not surprised. But it did. It sounded like a cat. And I thought, the cat that's in here. I thought, my God, what's the cat got, got a hold of now? Or tore up or knocked down or messed up or something. I thought, what now? And Paul asked Paul to look. And he got up and looked, and he said, there ain't a cat back there. I said, yeah, they are. He said, no, there's not. He said, the uh, mask is on top of the cage. And I looked, and it was, and every cat was, I don't know, don't know. And the boots is on my lap, so it wasn't him. I don't know. And now something made a noise in the hall. Thought it was the cats. And there's no cat in there. There's no cat in there. <coughs> so I don't know. But do I believe in ghosts? No. Just one. One what? Just one ghost. But do I believe in demons? Yes. Yes, I believe in demons. But I'm not getting no evil, uh, I'm not getting no uh, indication that it's a demon. 
Maybe God sent an angel to watch over us. And I have got a gift of discernment, so yes, I would know. A crazy cat. How the heck did you do that? I was asked to go out to the store today this morning. To get some uh, groceries now, for I feel better. <coughs> the neighbor. Mm, and better. at the store, they happen to have two liter yeah. Coke products for 79 cents. <coughs> so they were to get me and Tammy one. I'd like to be able to get about 10 or 12 more. So we'd have them for future reference. But, well, we didn't get, have the ability to, but it's all right. Take God will provide us. God's provide for... For a lot of stuff. Yep. The dryer, I thought, well, oh God. <laughs> Whew, I'm going to have to make some crafts or something. Try to sell and something to make this. And, uh, oh wait. Well, if it ain't moved, I don't know. Anyways, I thought, well, I'm going to have to make some crafts or something. Try to sell it. Sell enough to get a dryer. Next thing I know, Paul comes home. We got a dryer. We do work. <laughs> <laughs> well, all that was really wrong with that dryer that we had was a broken belt. But with the age of the dryer, I don't even know if I could have got a belt for it. It was old. That that sucker was old. But it still would heat up, and the motor would still turn and run. But where the belt was broke, it wouldn't turn the drum to cool off anything. So it didn't feel safe having it here. So. If anybody wants it, it's sitting out here in front of the place. You can I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't even touch it. <laughs> if you do, you're crazy. <clears throat> hey, she won't take it off the scrap. That'd be the only thing I'd take it for. <laughs> Thankfully, Tammy's got the rest pretty good. That's all I've done. If you call it rest, you hurt so bad you can't rest. It's pouring the rain here. Yeah, I could just started hearing it. <coughs> I heard it hitting the window. Yeah. We have two or three different places here that when it starts Rent raining, legs. we can specifically hear it. Especially at the two windows. One, especially where the air conditioner is in the window. And over top of the stove where it's got the, dryer, the exhaust vent. When it rains on it, you can hear it really good. The what? Exhaust vent on over top of the stove. You said dryer. I may have. I you know. did. You said dryer. Well, anyways, the exhaust vent that's over the stove. <laughs> have you guys ever heard of a? I don't know. He does different type of music. His name is Up Church. I like his style of music. Check him out. He's pretty good. Most of it's country, from what I understood. I don't know. He, he raps. He does a little bit of everything. I've seen, I've watched some videos of him. He's on YouTube. He's on TikTok. He's on Facebook. I want to warn you. He, he, he <coughs> got a mouth on him. He's got a mouth on him. <laughs> he's from Tennessee. He just tells you how it is. And if I was a cussing person, I'd probably end up being the same way. But I, I, I don't do that language no more. You but don't I'll, hold back. <laughs> but I'll tell you how it is. I'll agree with that. She'll definitely tell you. I ain't no redneck. Well, yeah, I am. I just told you why. You no, know, right now. I, I try not that. to be... I try not to be rude to anybody. But when they start being rude to me, I can be rude. And if you're being rude to one of her friends or relatives, your she'll be rude members. back to you. So. That's what a relative is. It won't be pretty. That was me, you silly cat. One thing about the Up Church that I thought was really cool is we were at a... Uh, huh? What are you talking about? Over with um, Justin that night. Well, uh, Justin has to say what that is. It ain't for you to say. Okay, never mind now. I won't say that. Anyways, he done a good gesture for some kids. He's real good to kids. 
he went, I watched one of his videos. He went to McDonald's drive through and he asked the worker to drive through. He said, how many people's working today? And they said six. I said, okay. He went in there and gave each employee five hundred dollars. The the man is a cool guy. He's married and got a little girl. He's supposed to have surgery on his teeth Monday. And then they're gonna do something else Thursday, so you might wanna keep him in your prayers. There's surgery in your mouth. Ugh. Big old Tennessee boy. It's up. U P Church C H U R C H. <coughs> and if I hadn't I told you that, I could have told you his name. <laughs> but anyways, look that up and you'll see. It has a rebel flag. My cousin Justin uh, kind of like introduced me to him. He said, have I ever heard of Up Church? I said, no. Is it Jason? I don't know what it is, Paul. Do okay. you know what it is? Have, do you, have you looked them up? Not recently. Well, no. then you don't know. Anyways, he's a, he really is. He's a cool, he's a real cool guy. He's good to kids. He's, he's super good to people. Sounds like he has a given heart, and that's a good thing to have. You never see the video where people come against him and what he said to him, back to him. <laughs> well. If you want him to see that, you just have to watch yourself, because I ain't repeating nothing he said. <laughs> right, he's just, he just <clears throat> tell you how it is. Probably best to be straightforward and honest with everything you do. Yeah, I was raised that way. We was raised that way. You see how my family is. We was raised that way. We don't hold nothing back. Can't stand a backbiter. Or a liar. Or a cheater. Or a stealer. It's really bad when you have certain family members that want to give you a hug around your neck and have a knife in the other hand and stab you in the back. You get that a lot, don't you? I'm drinking Pepsi, guys. I've got Tegans. And I actually found some wild cherry Pepsi Zero. And so it's got zero sugar. It tastes pretty darn gone good. And I don't like Pepsi. Well, I guess we'll get off of here. <laughs> What's your other Medea number two? Boo too, as it's called. <laughs> I, I, every time I watch it, I can't help it. just get tickled and laugh and watched it how many times and didn't know that was on there. Oh, I couldn't tell you. At least I four. Could, I couldn't tell you how many times we watched Medea. Boo one. Yeah. And they're they're handing out candy, and behind them is three uh, jack o' lanterns. One says 420, one says I love Jesus, and the other one's got a pot leaf on it cut out. Uh, I said, there I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <coughs> well, hope you enjoyed the video. It's good to hear her laugh. If, if he's a narrator, anything you do, he's going to... I was going to tell you about it. But anyways, we're going to get off of here and we're going to watch Medea. I don't know what that was. What? What was it? I'm aggravating you. you love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. Mwah. To all you guys, thank you for subscribing to the new subscribers. Hope you enjoyed the videos. <coughs> um... What you see is what you get. Some days I'm happy, some days I'm sad, some days I'm just a straight up bitch, I'm hateful. You get what you get, I don't fake. I'm not a faker. 
Uh, I'm not no actor. It is what it is, and you get what you get. But hope you have a good night. I'm gonna get up here, and I'm gonna watch my day. Well, guys, just want to let you know if any of you want a shout out, let us know, and we'll give you a shout out. We don't mind doing that at all. And we thank you guys for watching once again. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. I've got to look. I didn't even take a bath today or shower. I'm going to do something with this mop. I need it cut. Oh, anyways. Bye, guys.